Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. We are going to finally finish our in-depth note-for-note look at Lenny by Steve Ray Vaughan. Uh, so this one has been a work, isn't it? It's, it's a lot of work to do, uh, a lot of notes, but hopefully you've been following along and uh, after a couple of weeks, maybe you can get this thing down and uh, play along with the album. So let's start here. We're gonna start where we picked up uh, the, from the last lick that we did in part three. So let me uh, play through what we're gonna start with here. All right, so we got some uh, pretty intense bends going on there. So we start, we left the last lesson with this lick. So you should know that already, but from there we do this. So those, uh, two of those really big bends were done to your first finger. So, so 17 on the B, 15, 17 on the high E string, and do the bend there at the 17. And then two long slow bends from the 15th fret with your first finger. And then that's just 17 on the B back to 15 on the high E. You do that twice. And then back to 17 on the B a couple times. Then we have one more uh, kind of bend. That's 17. Then 15 on the high E, so 17 on the B, 15 on the high E, then 17, and then pre bend the, let's just make a side the 19th fret, back to the 15th fret. All right, from there we start the fast licks. Let me play through that lick kind of slow, this next phrase. So that's probably the fastest lick in the entire song. So I was, besides, you know, playing it up to speed at the beginning, I want to really kind of show it to you, uh, play through it slowly as well. So let's go through it. So we're going to start here uh, with this 17th on the B string, then slide 14, 16 down to 14 on the G, pull off to 12, over to 14 on the D. Then come over to the that little blues lick, Pulse that bend of the 14 on the G, then 12 on the B, 12 on the high E string. Then grab 15th fret, and you're gonna do a bend of the 14th again, and then grab 15 while you're doing that bend, and then hit 14 again, and pull off to 12, over to 14 on the D. So we have this. Now we start some double stops again, oh, oh, between the 12th fret on the G and the B and the 14th fret on the B and the G. So we have this, do the 12s, the 14th with a slight bend, and then play 14 again, so this, down to the 12s. Now we're gonna go to 14s, over to 14 on the D, and then back to the 12s. So we have this so far. And now we're back to the, the really kind of, we're finally to the fast descending line. That's gonna first start though with a, that same blues look again, which is that bend of the 14 into the 12 on the B and the high E. From there we descend, 15, 12 on the B, then 15 on the G, pull off 14 to 12. Over to 14 on the D, back to 12 on the G. So put that together. Then pull off 14 to 12 on the D. And then you're gonna pull up, pull off 14, 12 on the A, slide down to 10 and then grab the 12th fret on the low E string. 
Then we'll come back here to hammer 10 to 12 on the A and slide it to 14. Grab 12 on the D. And then go back down, kind of the way you came. All right, so so far from that top note. And then we're gonna end it with that's uh, picking 10, slide to 11 on the A, and then play 12, and open E. So do that slide, 12, slide, 12, open E. All right, and now we can take it back to the position, the pickup position, because we're still in the neck pickup, on the neck pickup um, from the previous lesson. Uh, then we're basically at the normal one now, right between the middle and the uh, neck pickup. And then we're back to the... So we're back to that familiar chord, hit the low note and pick across the strings, descending. So that's a quick slide to nine on the low E and seven on the A. And then we have low E open string, then harmonics. So grab, take your third finger and put it across the uh, 12th fret very lightly and then hit the harmonic at the low E, D string, back to the low E, and then G and high E string. So I started with a low E open, then the harmonics. Then you're gonna come and grab this chord again, except you're gonna do a upwards rake across just really the, the bottom two notes there. And then, then come back with it across all of them. And then we have this little fill that takes us back into the main theme, which looks that's sliding into nine on the low E, seven on the A, and then slide into it from nine to 11 on the A. Over the nines now on the D and the G together, pick them again and do a, it's a little trill between nine and 11 on the G to 11 on the D. And now we're back to that same thing we've seen before. Now the ending fill here of, of this particular phrase is that's sliding into nine and on the low E to seven on the A, and then a little triplet slide nine to eleven to nine on the D. So nine to eleven on the A, nine on the D, and then we're gonna play. That's playing the double stops of the nines on the G and the B together, hammering 11 on the G, and back to the nines. Now do the same thing on the D and the G string, except you hammer on both times, the 11th on the D. And then we're back to the same phrase, and he actually repeats the same thing again, even the same ending. Except this time, just do it slower. So you start slowing down as you get into that fill. And then we get to the cadenza, which is kind of in free time. Uh, let me play through that for you real quick. So that's the first lick of it. So it's got some fast picking there. So we're gonna pick across here. 12-9 on the high E, then 12-9 on the B, then you're going to pick 12, slide to 9 on the G, pull off to 9, sorry, slide off to 12 to 11, pull off to 9, and then 11 on the D. And then come back to the 11 on the G, you get Pick 11, slide to 13, and then play 12 on the B. Do that twice. All 
All right, now we're back to this 13 on the G string. You're gonna slide down from the 13, slide down to 11, pull off to a nine, over 11 on the D, then nine on the G, 11, then do a quick little hammer between nine and 11. Then we have this, nine on the G, 11 on the D, Pick hammer 9 to 11 on the D. Then, so that's just a little trill between 9 and 11 on the D, over to 11 on the A, then hammer 9 to 11. So he's kind of always pausing on those 11s. And then we have this little trill between 9 and 11 on the A, slide down to 7. Nine, then hammer seven to nine on the low E, seven on the A, low E open. So all together for that whole phrase. All right, and now the uh, last Fast look at the song, it sounds like this. All right, so there's a big bar dive there. I'm not gonna do it because it's gonna completely throw my guitar out of tuning. All right, so um, we're gonna do a, uh, do this, we've done this a little bit before. We have the bar that costs the 12th fret on the B and the G, the high E string. And as you pick that, hammer 14 on the B and then back to the 12s then you're gonna slide into the nines on the B and the G together 19s I'm sorry and then play 17s and then do the same thing sliding into 14 and then the 12 so this the man was pretty good at double stops and then we have So this is one of my favorite licks here. We have 11th fret on the G string, 12th fret on the B. So you pick those together and then hammer on 13 on the G. Then do that again, but you, this time you're gonna do kind of a trill on the G string. So you're gonna pull back off there at the end to the D, back to the 11th fret. And then grab 14 on the D. So we start with this. Then do that again. Except you're just going to pick those two 12, the 11 and 12, and then back to the 14 without doing any kind of a trill. So we have this. Jump back here. Now how you're going to do this is you're going to play, you're going to hammer 9 to 11 on the D. Then keep your first finger barred across the ninth fret across the D, G, and the B strings. And then... That's right. If I'm doing that, do the hammer on, then you pick 9 on the G, 10 on the B, and then you're going to add the 11th fret on the G with your little finger. That allows you to grab this chord, which is 11 on the D, 9 on the G, 10 on the B. Because it gets there really quick. So from these little hammer ons. And then you come to this chord, which has got the big bar dive on it. So you get 12th fret on the B, 12th on the G, 12th on the D, and 14 on the A. A lot bigger dive than that, kind of slow. And then we're back to the very end, which really goes a lot slower. So that's slide into nine on the A, seven on the D. Same thing, two frets lower. And then into the nine on the low E. A little bit longer, you're gonna hold this, and then a quick seven on the A. Low 
low E open, and you're gonna grab the harmonic second part, the twelfth fret on the B and the high E. Then hit that B one again, and then hit the fifth fret harmonic on the high E string. And blah 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 blah. All right, so that was a long one. That's a that's a lot to get through, but I hope you guys followed along. It's uh, great fun as soon as you have it all together but that might take some time, so good luck with it all. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.